Hi guys, welcome to Collector's Tree. Uh, let me first introduce to my new bonsai tree. Say hello. Uh, you know that I have been using VIEC tablets for quite some time. So I have been using a VIEC A30 pen tablet as well as VIEC VK1200 display tablet. So today I'm going to give you a quick comparison between these two tablets. So VK1200 is a pen display tablet, which means you can see the drawing on the tablet itself. VK830 is a pen tablet, which you cannot see what you draw from the tablet. Both of these tablets need to connect to a computer. VK1200 is act as a display monitor, so there are few cables connected to your computer when drawing. You will end up with multiple cables running to the computer. VIEC A30 will need to connect to the computer because the display will be the computer screen when you draw on that tablet. Uh, but you will only need one cable for this. Talking about the size, VIEC A30 is 13.9 inch by 9.1 inch in size, whereas VK1200 is 12.48 by 7.44 inches so the drawing area of a30 is slightly bigger than the VK1200 but actually both feel almost the same in size so let's talk about the appearance VK1200 is very well smooth and the display is very easy to draw on. There are six supporting keys uh, and supporting buttons at the left side where you can easily assign your frequent commands to. Uh, VIEC A30 is also very smooth and easy to draw with. Unlike in VK1200, the drawing portion is less smooth but when you draw, the hand will easily glide through the tablet without any inconvenience. VK A30 also have a touchpad and four supporting keys or shortcuts where you can assign any command as you prefer. This touchpad is a little harder to use. I usually do not use this at all. I rely on my keyboard and mouse uh, with VK A30 but I have gotten used to using the buttons in the VK1200 and I do not use the keyboard or mouse when I'm drawing with that. Uh, so let's talk about pens. So this is the pen I got for VK830 pen tablet and this is the pen I got for VK1200. Both of these pens are very good in quality and you can easily draw because it has a very nice grip and also there are few buttons as you can see here where you can assign different commands to these buttons as well. So in related to the drawing experience with these two pens the size and the design is very easy to draw and you will get used to it very quickly. So let's talk about the drawing experience. So this is the main difference of these two tablets. So VIEC A30 is a pen tablet. So you have to look at the computer monitor while you're drawing. Uh, so you have to train yourself to draw on the tablet and look at the monitor. So this will get some time to use to. For me, it took about uh, three or four days to get used to. But after that, it is so easy to use VIEC A30 tablet. Uh, but VK1200 fixes this problem. With the display tablet, you can directly draw on the screen, which is much easier to get used to. So talking about what is inside the box when you get these two tablets, with both devices, I got artist's gloves and extra pen nibs. I also got a pen pouch for free. There was a 
pen nib holder and pen stand included in the box too. Actually, I got two pens with uh, my VK1200. So let's talk about the price. Uh, so VK30 is an awesome value of money. Uh, coming in at around $50 with its high quality pen and drawing experience with a huge drawing area. I can easily recommend this as the best beginner pen tablet. The VK1200 is about $300 and it will depend on where you are buying this from. So you can check out the links in the description below if you are willing to buy as well. So this is also a very good value when you are getting a display tablet. Comparing to others in the market, a VK1200 provides a professional level drawing tablet for a small price. Uh, the only other upgrade you might need is to get a bigger tablet if you can afford it. So lastly, I should mention both these tablets are mainly developed for art. Therefore, the drawing quality is quite high. If you are thinking of using one for note taking, I think it's harder to take notes in a drawing tablet. Maybe the drawing display would be more suited for that. Keep in mind, these devices need a computer to work. So you cannot use these uh, tablets on their own. If you want to carry around a tablet without a PC, you should look at the Android or iPad. Hope this video was helpful. Do let me know if you have any other questions about these devices. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share this video. So thank you and see you with another video.